hello uh, now in this video I am going to show you how to configure the GUI of for scout uh, so uh, for this we have to download the console and I am going to show you how to download the console it is my for scout uh, IP that I have configured at the time of CLI followed by install now okay this page will open and uh, now simply click download it simply download it I have already downloaded so I am going to show you how to install this console so you can choose as per your need I'm I'm uh, I, you can choose as per your requirement and uh, you can choose your path according to you know your need and I'm going to use don't uh, this is the option do not install open SC means six smart card so we don't have that it, it's install it then as you can see that the installation is complete now simply finish it Now as you can see that the console is open in front of me ok now simply input the IP address username is by default for GUI is admin and password is at the time of CLI I have configured you can use your own password yes secure login it is a SSH I am permitted this after updating this java console it's uh, it ask again username password in the console this is only for the first time so we have to log in again so fr uh, friends please uh, listen uh, sorry please uh, for the first time show ask me later it is asking every time I will also give you how to uh, stop getting this message again and again okay now the initial setup wizard is open in front of me these are the some information that I have uh, configured at the time of CLI now we are moving to the next that is time okay if you have a internet connection this uh, setting is okay if you have your own NTP server installed in your network you need to change in my case time zone is Asia Calcutta there are seven different options also there you can configure according to your need then time validation it is checking time yes in my case my force code have internet connection so it is able to communicate with uh, for ntp.fullscout.net on port number 123 yes it is okay then admin email yes you need to enter this admin email so I am going to configure this admin at the rate okay no right now no need to configure mail relay simply admin who is going to uh, manage this for scout admin email then saving this email moving to the next part ok configuration is successful uh, test is failed because uh, right now it is not no, the, I have no connectivity with my mail server so it is ok we can check it later next uh, this is AD configuration you can skip this part but 
later on you have to install this also i am going to tell you how to do this now i am going to skip this okay uh this is i'm going again going to show you this is a user directory uh the ad in your environment the current running ad in your environment you have to give the details uh here the name of the server address ip address of the server we have some more ad details here user directories i'm using microsoft act2 directory then address if it is communicating on 636 tls it's okay otherwise just uncheck tls and use 389 then domain ccie.com okay i'm doing this for you as a example so this is very important active directory with admin rights okay this is uh, which admin rights i need here uh, i am giving a one example it is a simple admin rights where you can uh, suppose if you want to uninstall any software and when you are uh, try to uninstall in a domain user system any software want to uninstall it asks for the username password so that username password you need to require to uh, enter here so in my case i am just keeping it i will do this later now it's domain i am also able to skip this you can skip this because uh, you can uh, configure this on later network yes you have to give at least one suppose my organization name i am putting this and i am giving one of the ip it almost contain all the network later on you can also add some more networks it is also completed now internal network segment okay so uh, when you are in partial mode you are not able to do suppose to do these things okay so in when you are in the not in the production mode you just simply put it in the partial okay then next okay uh so this is the option where suppose if you uh if you if you want to if you want a uh, uh, span traffic we have to configure here i will also show you how to configure span traffic later so you can also skip this step okay channels we need to configure switch you can add here i am doing this and uh, you can see my some videos i have installed separately or if you have a list you can directly add here okay so i am also skipping this make it remain as okay remain the same okay and now finish the setup is successful new configuration loading is take some time okay uh, now it is open and uh,
now you can see that the configuration has done successfully initial setup is done successfully and we can activate license later and uh, see this is the map view we simply disable this map view we do not want any map view so uh, guys this is the only host in my full scout console and uh, I, I have also not downloaded the policy and also not added any segment in my this so in my other videos I'm going to show you how to add the segments and uh, how to implement the policies accordingly thank you for watching and like my video